and welcome back to my channel Sarija Andrea so jumping right into the video I'm just going to be showing you guys how I like to measure my different head circumferences so I like to do seven and a half for a 21 inch circumference eight and a half for 22 inch circumference and nine and a half for 23 inch circumference you guys just really want to know that and mark that down just because that is the type of length that you want to cut your elastic band depending on your head circumference now I'm going to be showing you guys a technique that I like to do but I want to pause real quick to show you guys that if you are not 18 plus and you don't know how to use any type of heat or lighter or match or anything like that please don't do this step just make sure a guardian or a parent is around so that you guys don't be trying to sue me to say that you learned off of youtube that you was playing with matches uh-uh not today so i just like to use the um lighter just to burn the ends of the elastic band it really just gets it gives it more of like a hold and like a firmer touch so that when i use my needle and thread to sew it through my um, frontal is a lot more stiff and it's easier to use so um, this is the inside of my frontal this hair is from Ali Pearl as far as the bundles but as far as the frontal I am using my own I'm testing out my raw collection that's going to be introduced hopefully in July if not July um, you know probably the end of July or the beginning of August I haven't really decided yet it depends on when I recover from my surgery next week um, but yeah, this is going to be using Ali Pearl's kinky um, bundles and then the front that I have is just a raw texture. It's just like a raw kinky texture. It's no really no real origin to it but um i'll talk about that all later but i'm just showing you guys as far as i'm um, measuring on the inside of the elastic band to place it and sew it down i like to do half an inch away from the actual um elastic in the back of the wig and then one inch away from the um, inside of the wig and that's where I like to place my elastic band um, I think that's more of like a visual type of way of looking at it um, I do this for every single wig no matter what hair circumference it is I do the same method for every single one and just placing it in these type of measurements that I show you guys um, no matter what wig that you put this elastic band on it will create a glueless effect so that is just a little bit of tea for y'all that trying to lay and trying to figure out what the hell this glueless thing is all about, okay? You know it's winter somewhere, but it's springtime right here. All right, so I went ahead and just put my wig on. I did go ahead and dye this wig jet black. If you guys are wondering as far as dyeing my wigs jet black, I only use Kiss Colors, their older formula. Um, I don't like the newer one. I don't like the Temptation one. I just feel like it's a little bit too watery for me. I only like using their older formula and I use that in jet black. Um, someone was asking if I can make a video as far as using jet black dye and doing it on the frontal and how I don't get the black on my frontal if that's something that you guys are really interested in please let me know down below and depending on how many likes that comment gets i will go ahead and make a video for it but i never really asked no one really asked me to ever make that so you know if you guys are interested then let me know so i'm just doing the same thing with using my eyebrow razor to cut my lace if you guys have no idea um how i did my first celebrity hairstylist secrets video definitely go ahead and check that out because in that video i did use that eyebrow um 
shaper to cut my lace i just think it just gives a more natural rigid type of lines on the lace and it makes it a little bit more natural so i'm just cutting the um front of the lace and i'm also cutting around the ear part and i do that for both sides and then i do show you guys how it looks when i place the lace on my forehead without any glue without any spray without any anything and it lays so good um i can literally like peel the lace back and it's like really stuck to my head so that's how you know the measurements of my elastic band works okay so i'm just doing the same thing on the other side nothing too special And then as far as you um the ear folds on both sides um i could have just went ahead and just used the mousse that i'm going to be showing you guys later on but i just want to make sure that i have a very nice firm hold um this is a glueless wig so if i wanted to keep it on and take it off you know without having any type of gel or anything on it i could but just me personally i wanted to put some got to be glue gel on my ear folds you guys don't have to do this you can skip this step if needed you just don't like to use glue or gel or anything at all you can definitely go ahead and skip this step and i will show you guys how to really mold down your wig uh, without using any of this but again this is just my personal preference of what i wanted to do in this video All right, so once I just went ahead and um, laid down my folds with some got to be, um, I didn't put it in the front of the lace, so you know I just wanted to put it in the back to make sure, make to make sure that you know my my wig is really secure. I'm going to now move on to doing a middle part. I want to have a really good sleek part with this curly hair. Yeah, it is Afro kinky hair, but you know I still wanted some type of shape and structure to it at the same time. So I just went ahead and parted the frontal down the middle. So this is a 13 by 6 um tight kinky no origin raw frontal i finally found a potential vendor that has 13 by 6 curly frontals y'all you have no idea how hard it is to find vendors like that so i have a potential you know candidate as far as it i'm still testing everything out you know eventually i will have a pre-sale or pre-order for you guys to order some of these but you know right now i'm still trying to just test it out and do my homework first before i start selling anything so i just went ahead and part of it i put some sebastian shaper spray to lay down any flyaways um and then now i'm just going to go ahead and cut some baby hair so with this frontal it's already sectioned as far as baby hair and then like the real hairline so it was pretty much easy for me to um you know go ahead and section that off this does come pre-plucked but i did a little bit more plucking in the back as far as the realistic hairline look that's why it looks so bomb um, this looks literally just like my hair it's actually kind of scary but i was so i'm just so happy with it and hopefully it holds up and does me due diligence okay so i'm just using my hot comb i use the old-fashioned one where you like put the hot comb in a little a little oven thing that it comes with um so i'm just using that to lay down my frontal even more and i'm using the nairobi shaping no the nairobi what is this Nairobi Rapid Shine Foaming Lotion. I prefer this 
mousse over any other mousse that I have tried as far as laying down my baby hair. Um, a lot of other mousses, they don't really stick to my hairline. They kind of stick up or they make the hair curl. You know, it's already curly hair, so you don't want it to be curling up even more when you try to do the baby hair. This is not do that. I feel like this does a really good job with keeping the hair down and just letting you be able to swoop your baby hair like with no effort. Um, so this is pretty much how everything is looking. This is a really good way to hold down your hairline without using any got to be gel any got to be spray any ghost bond any lace glue nothing this is a really good technique for someone that does not like any of the things that i just named but you are still able to hold your lace front down and even if you take the lace front wig off you're still able to put it back on with it not being lifted or anything so sis this is the t okay <laughs> So I'm just moving on to putting on my little spandex wrap I got from Joanne Fabrics. If you guys don't want to use, you know, like those super expensive um, lace, you know, headband things, just go to Joanne Fabrics, get you like a $4 spandex you know thing and cut it until about three inches and then use that to lay down your hairline like i do so now i'm just moving on to doing my eyeshadow look um i didn't really do a tutorial as far as this i feel like i do the same look all the time now i don't know why but i just feel like when i do more dramatic looks on camera it's like a little bit too much like i just think it's a little bit too much for camera purposes but i like to do dramatic looks for pictures i don't know i'm like super weird like maybe i'll do a dramatic but dramatic look next time I don't know like y'all I'll be more focused with doing this hair shit instead of makeup I don't know I'm weird but anyway you guys can just follow along as far as doing my eyeshadow I do go ahead and put on my highlight and lips on camera as well so I'll leave all the makeup deets down below and then when I'm done with all my makeup I will come back and um, finish up the video <laughs> Raindrops, drop top, drop top, smoking no cook in the hot box. Cooking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Cooking up dope in the crock pot. We came from nothing to something, nigga. I don't try nobody to grip the trigger. Nobody call up the gang and they come and get gang. Call me your ripper, give you a get home. I take your bitch right from you. you. Bitch, I'm a dog. Beat down her walls. Hop in the fall. Tell that bitch to come come for me. Come for me. I swear these niggas is under me. Hey. The hate and the devil keep jumping me. Jumping me. Arrows on me keep me covered. This shit is bad and bullshit. Bad. Cooking up dope with a ooze. My niggas are savage, ruthless. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. My bitch is bad and bullshit. Bad. Cooking up dope with a ooze. My niggas are savage, ruthless. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. All set. Too. My bitch is bad and bullshit, bad. Cooking up with a Uzi. 
My niggas are savage, ruthless. We got better than Hunter Rock too. All set. Makeup is done, lips done, highlight is done, everything's done. So now we're gonna move on to taming these curls. Look at this frontal though, bruh. Look at my sideburns, like shit is lit, okay? So I'm now gonna move on to, like I said, taming this bushy curly hair. So I didn't really give you guys the specs as far as the um, bundle lengths and how many I use. So I used my 13 by six frontal that I'm testing out from a vendor, but I only use two bundles of 28 inch kinky curly from Ally Pearl so I felt like using that because the frontal is so big and it takes up so much space I didn't need that many bundles so I only ended up using two and I felt like that was good enough like the you know density of the wig was perfect it wasn't too bushy but it wasn't too thin at the same time so I felt like two was good enough and I used 28 inches for both of them um, and I think my frontal was 22 inches if I'm not mistaken so now I'm just moving on to um, wetting the hair I do have a bowl of water sitting next to me so if you guys see me keep like dipping over and putting my hand over that's what it is and I'm going to be using the Cantu what is this the Cantu coconut curling cream I love to use this with more kinky texture type of hair so I'm just using my water dipping that in with my dimming brush and then kind of using my hands as well and then I'm using the curling cream and putting that throughout the hair too and then brushing it through the dimming brush to just really activate my curls and you guys can just see me do this whole process on camera and you guys can just see how freaking defined and how nice the curls are I feel like they're just so juicy when I diffuse it later on but um yeah you guys can just watch this part and then I'll come back when I go ahead and diffuse my hair. Tell me, do you think I'm being sentimental? Cause all this time I've been trying to work out what it was. Brought me close to you. Wish I could feel it now. Baby, I'm not sure what I hope you make decisions Cause maybe some time for you to know if this is best for us If I don't think it's right, you'll think I'm wrong I Oh, 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 
Alrighty, so I went ahead and did the other side off camera just using the same product and the same technique. And now I'm just gonna be using this Ion Diffuser um, Conair Pro, it's not Ion, it's Conair Pro Diffuser that I got from Sally Beauty. I will link that down below as well. And then I believe the blow dryer is from Hot Tools. I will just link everything down below, but I'm just going to be using this diffuser and just diffusing my hair. I think it took me about like 15 minutes to diffuse the whole entire wig um, just because it wasn't drenched. I think I like doing curly hair when it's dry first and then I put my frontal down and stuff and then I wet it and put product in when I had the wig already on. I kind of just think I prefer doing curly hair that way. Some people like to just drench the whole entire wig and then put it on and do it, do it that way, but you know. Personal preference is my channel. I can do what I want. Okay, so I'm just going ahead and just using a diffuser, diffusing the hair. I think it's till I told you guys it took me about 15 minutes, and then I will come back when I am done with the whole entire thing. I did go ahead and keep my headband on um, throughout this whole process, just because it wasn't really necessary for me to take it off. But then I think midway through, I did end up taking off. So, yeah. <laughs> So the hair is pretty much dry now. I'm just gonna be using my fingers just to rub um, and give a little bit more volume to the roots of it. I feel like I just kind of like this effect a little bit. I don't really know why, but I saw someone doing this like in a video a while back and I like the effect of it. So I just wanted to do it in this wig. Um, I'm just gonna take my Chi Silk Infusions Hair Serum and um, kind of flip my wig over and put a little bit of this in the back of the wig and then really concentrate on the ends and then just do the same thing for the frontal and then you know just making sure everything is all throughout the hair it gives a really pretty shine to the whole entire wig um if you guys hear this freaking meow meowing that is ariel in the back she is acting crazy so then I'm just going to be putting this product all throughout the hair and then that is pretty much it you guys. This is so freaking pretty. This hair is beautiful. I feel like curly hair just looks so much better when it's jet black. I don't know why but it's kind of like a personal thing. I think it just looks bomb jet black instead of just being like the natural color that it comes. Um, so yeah guys that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just going to be going ahead and playing with the wig uh, for the rest of the end of the video. I do take the wig off a little bit to show you guys that it can come off you know and using the Nairobi foamy mousse does help with keeping it secure because even when I lift it up you guys can see I kind of have to like you know tug a little bit so yeah I hope you guys really enjoyed this video there is not many glueless videos there's glueless videos on YouTube but not really um so I'd had to jump I had to get one out for you guys because it's not very you know because it's not very common that you see a lot of glueless wigs usually people are using glue or got to be or you know all that stuff and i want to get a glueless where you don't have to use none of those products because some people are allergic and i really want to do this video for you guys so um thank you guys so much i hope to see you in my next video my next video is going to be on my white hair that you guys saw me post on instagram so if you guys are interested in seeing that definitely stay tuned for my next video subscribe to my channel like and subscribe go ahead and follow me on all my social media platforms and definitely go out and check my other videos from before deuces guys Bye.